So if you guys are loaded into Grand Theft Auto 5 today, which I did, you're going to notice that you're going to get hit with a download or an upload. Not an upload, it's like a download. You're going to have to download something. It's probably going to be almost like half of a gigabyte worth of information. Now what I've done here is I've gone onto Twitter and I found out exactly what they have done. Not exactly exactly, but we got the rough idea here and I just want to go ahead and talk about this so you guys know exactly what's going on here. What is the update about? Because there is an update, you're going to have to basically download downloaded if you want to play Grand Theft Auto. So let's go over some of this information here. Today is February 28th, 2023, and it looks like uh, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One and PC uh, all received these updates today. And there's also some other things that didn't receive it, but we'll be getting down the line here. So the first one is going to be right here. It says it fixed an issue that prevented players from being able to modify the TM-02 Kanjali, the RCB, and the Chernabog over at the facility. Now, what does that necessarily entitle? I don't really know. Does that mean a merge glitch or a dupe glitch? I, maybe it's a glitch that they fixed there. I'm not really sure, but, you know, that's something that they did fix. Okay, February 28, 2023, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One. This does not include PC. It looks like implemented a new data protocol in GTA Online to improve the security of network sessions and player-to-player -player, uh, management, basically. So if you guys didn't know and you play Grand Theft Auto, um, yeah, your IP is not hidden at all. So if you're ever playing Grand Theft Auto, I would always advise people to play, like, play Grand Theft Auto that don't want to get DDoSed make sure that you have a vpn i always play with the vpn so i don't get ddos and mess with in other ways like that and also it's like player to player so it's peer to peer so just let you know like okay i started up a session and for anybody to connect to that session it's not like a rockstar server session or anything like that it's like they're connecting off of my internet session or connection i would i would say at that time um and besides the fact yeah so hopefully this has to do with masking ips at this time, which just to let you guys know too, the most rudimentary games do this, okay? Like big AAA games do this, okay? Call of Duty does this for you. They mask your IP because they figure that people are probably going to be streaming this and or YouTubers and they just don't want IP addresses to be going out as public information like Grand Theft Auto does with their game. If you guys did not know that, yeah, get yourself a VPN if you guys are going to be playing on GTA. That's, that's, my, uh, that's my advice. All right, also, what do we have here? It has, uh, looks like some stability for performance here. So general stability improvements. What does that mean? I don't really know. So hopefully the game is a little bit more stable and things like that. It seems like sometimes when I was loading into the game, I had a lot of trouble just getting into a public session. It would just say error trying to find some session or something like that. And it's like, it doesn't have to deal with my connection. It just has to deal with the, you know, the game and how outdated it is. I mean, come on, we're talking about a game that's like, way old and they haven't even done some of the easiest things that like other games not even AAA games have done like just as uh, simple as uh, protecting people's ip addresses which i feel is super important especially when you're playing a massive multiplayer game that's as toxic as gta and you can't beat around the bush and saying that this game is not toxic this is literally one of the most toxic games that you guys could ever be playing next to a few other ones of course like call of duty and other stuff like that but anyways rolling down the line here so February 28th, so it looks like this right here is just going to be for the PC, uh, the PC performance part of it. So we'll just talk about this real quick. So for the PC part, oh, hold on, we didn't do the stability and performance part right here. So it's, yeah, stability and performance part. Uh, fixed an issue that resulted um, in our Windows missing reflections uh, from some sort of graphics mods for, for fixed ma uh, graphics mods, depending on what type you were going like, to wanting to choose which we have you know three different options here on playstation 5 or something like that which uh, i'd be playing on mostly these days and then fixed multiple crashes that occurred while playing gta so if you guys have ever been playing like grand theft auto and then all of a sudden your game just crashed which has happened to me often oh well, hopefully they fix some of that stuff you know but geez we're, we're where's gta 6 at this point i'm getting tired of all this gta 5 stuff anyways all right now moving down to some of these pc fixes here let me blow this up and go on down the line here so for this is just for a pc it looks like this isn't for uh the consoles just for a pc okay so fix an issue that result or what is that 
Oh, that resulted in players being um, incorrectly notified that they need to complete the prologue. Okay, that's happened to me a whole bunch of times, but it looks like this is just a fix for PC players too, but I wanted to go ahead and include everything in here. All right, and then it's also fixed a uh, fixed an issue preventing some accounts from accessing GTA Online that have been modified from third-party um, like applications, like you're paying, you know, for a modded account or something like that, which I think is absolutely ridiculous that it's gotten even this far into people like making modded accounts and then like people buying them, even though the game is like 10 years old. Like, shame on you for buying. A modded account that's for a game that's 10 years old like dude come on if you weren't able to get yourself built up after 10 years i don't know maybe want to stop playing games but that's just my opinion all right but anyways here fixed multiple issues that resulted in some users be uh what is it being able to abuse text on pc so you have these abilities of like doing tech stuff on pc to where you could like literally probably just sit there and just spam like pornography sites which i've seen which is like part of the reason too like i don't play on pc because of all the modding that goes on over there you wouldn't probably be able to play like five minutes in a public session without a modder hitting you up with some sort of craziness that's why i still prefer a console just for the fact like yeah we have to deal with people in god mode and stuff like that but trust me i would rather deal with someone within god mode on console than deal with a modder on pc because you know it's gonna be a lot easier for me to go ahead and avoid someone in god mode or at least take them out of god mode or something like that so anyways uh, yeah you guys we got this half of a gigabyte update that you're gonna have to download so these are you know some of the general fixes that they did which is like basically doesn't detail too much which is uh the most information and i'm sure there's more information that we can find as the day continues to where they might be able to actually post um exactly like exactly pinpointing what they did but once again this is just the general idea you know just to go ahead and like you know if if you're asking yourself well what what is this update about well this is it right here they just basically fixed a whole bunch of stuff in their game and hopefully it um you know results in the game being fixed and not so buggy but yeah right come on this is glitch theft auto okay i don't even call it grand theft auto anymore this is glitch theft auto and it's been that way for the last 10 years i've been doing glitches in this game and it's not stopping the glitches just keep on going and going what do you think gta 6 is gonna be like do you think there's gonna be glitches in gta 6 yes there's gonna be so many glitches in gta 6 and we're gonna be posting them on my channel so don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future awesome content but from there if you guys enjoyed the video you know it was helpful hit the like button on the way out subscribe for new content and thank you guys for watching leave a comment uh, if you guys got some questions and stuff like that try to do our best to answer all that stuff if not hit me on up like one of the social networks link down in the descriptions below but from there thanks guys for watching my name is gravesite hope you're all doing good have an awesome rest of the day i'll see you in the next one so peace